Hello, how you doing? So now we go to question number 11. So question number 11, they say, uh, you secure a 55,000 loan with a bank, the old bank over interest rate of 10%, which is a, a per annum compounded monthly. So we know it's a compounded monthly, means we're gonna use 12, because how many months in one, one year? 12 months. We, the term of seven years, so our time is seven years. What is the amount of the month payment? Okay, so look, this one, we're gonna use future value. So now you're going to ask me, when do I know should I use future value? When should I know I should use normal compound, uh, compound formula? Okay, let me tell you some. Whenever they talk about what is the amount of monthly payment, monthly payment, monthly payment, for the most case, is either future value or present value. You know what I'm saying? So for this one here, excuse me, I'm going to use present value. Excuse me, I was meant to say present value. You secure a loan means you have that money right now. So means you have secured the loan, means you have the money right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's why I'm gonna use present value because you have the man, money, you know? But that uh, bank is gonna charge 10% per annum, like they say. So for this case now, we're gonna use present value because like I said, you have the money right now, okay? So we're gonna use the present value because you have the money right now. On top of that, when they ask about the monthly payment, monthly payment, so monthly payment tell you, apply either future or present, but for this case, I'm gonna apply present because I have the money right now. But if it come in a case where you have to pay the money after a certain time, you know, or the money, then you're going to use future value. So for this case, I'm going to use present value because monthly payment. So most of the future value, present value, to talk about monthly payment or quarter monthly payment, stuff like that. So now I'm going to apply my, um, uh, my, uh, my present value formula here for this case. Why? Like I said, because I have the money with me. Okay. So this is my data here. I already have it. I already done, write, write them down. So what I'm going to do, I'll just plug them in. So what we're looking for, we're looking for the monthly payment. So X represents monthly payment. So future value guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna plug here five five, okay? And they say one two three, and then equal to X. This is what I'm looking for, and then this stuff here one minus, okay? One plus. What is my interest rate? My interest rate is ten percent. Ten percent. So ten percent, and then you know whenever you have interest rate, you must divide it how it was compounded. It was compounded monthly. So whatever this interest rate, divide how it was compounded. So monthly, how many months? One year. 12, so I'll divide by 12, this interest rate, and then I have a negative. What is my time? Time is seven years. Seven, but you have a negative, negative seven, and then make sure you multiply also by the same number which was compounded, means whatever you write here, you write there. Okay, cool. And then what we're gonna do? We're gonna close the bracket and then divide by the interest rate. Our interest rate is 10%, so say 10%, and then we also have to divide by, by 12. So what, I, what I'm gonna do, I will find the whole value of this, and then get one value, and they come this high. So let me take my calculator, excuse me. So check my calculator easy. So that's my calculator right here. So now let's go. So calculator say, okay, so now I start my bracket on. I hope everybody can see on and then I go one and then minus and then go another bracket. Let me put another bracket here. I'm sorry, because there's another bracket. One, one minus. Ah, uh, no, 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 let's say fraction face because we got the group on top, the group at the bottom. So that's why I'm gonna say what? Fraction face means fraction come here fraction then I put bracket because there's two bracket on top one minus one minus and then put in a bracket plus 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 fraction okay you got 10 percent shift percent and then over by 12 over by 12 and they come here close and then you go power power negative 7 7 times 12 okay times 12 and then I come to the bottom come to the bottom and the uh, uh, Close the bracket, open the bracket, and then we say 10%, 10, 10 shifty, percent, and then, excuse me, sorry, shifty percent, percent, and then over 12, and then close, and then go outside, and then, okay, we gotta close the one on top, because I didn't forget to close, excuse me. Okay, close there, and get an answer. So, oh my God, maybe I did something wrong with the bracket, okay. So let me remove one bracket to see. Oh, we got it. So six, 23, six, six, okay. So all this group here, it give us, okay, so we have a five, five, how many zero? One, two, three, three, zero, three, zero, and then equal to, we have our X. All this stuff when you plug in the calculator, it give us, uh, excuse me, let's check again. Six, 23, six, six, okay, 60, and then we got 23, Six six seven thirty six seven three six thirty six. So how are you gonna get x here? Divide by this answer everywhere. So my x 
equal to divided by 6 means this side here divided by 6 comma 2 3 6 6 7 3 6 same here listen this cancel 60 comma 23 6 6 7 3 6 so x equal to okay so now what i'm going to do uh so that's my answer 60 something my answer so i'll say uh fraction 5 5 and then 1 2 3 and then divide by the answer because the answer is that number underneath okay 9 1 3 so I go 9 1 3 which is not the same answer so I might have made a mistake somewhere. Let me check again because it gives us 913. Oh, I see. I made a mistake. The mistake I made is here is 10.5. Okay, interest rate is 10.5. 10 10 so I need to correct the 10.5. I say 10 here in my, in my substitution. So this is wrong. This must be 10.5 everywhere. 10.5. And this must be 10.5. Okay, so means I have to plug everything. So that's not, uh, it's, this one here is wrong. You know what I'm saying? It must be 10.5. So, okay, so plug your number again by plugging 10.5, okay? So plug in 10.5, so after plugging 10.5, they should get the correct answer, okay? Sometimes I also make a little mistake, so you can always correct. Now let's go and see. So I'm gonna go to my fraction, fraction again, and I go to the top. Okay, let's go to the top again. So top is going to be 1 minus, 1 minus in the bracket again, and then 1 plus fraction. What is a fraction? 10.5, 10.5, shift to percent, and then over, over just compounding monthly. Okay, let's come there. Okay, and then minus 7 times 12 also. 7 times 12, times 12, and then come there, close, and then come underneath, bracket fraction, 10.5, shift to percent, and then over by 12, and then come in, and then close, and let's get the answer. So the answer is 59.30. So the answer is 59.30. So this was wrong here. Excuse me. So now this should be 59.30. And it's not 60. 59.30. 59.39. 59.39. 59. 59.30. 09.61.34. So we're not going to divide by this. It should be 59.3096134. Now, so we're going to take 5, 5, excuse me, fraction, 1, 2, 3, and then divide by the answer, which we have already. So 9, 2, 7. So the answer is 9, 2, 7. So our X, which is monthly payment, equal to, let's check this one, is 9, 2, 7, comma, 3, 3, 7, 0, Three, two. So that's a final answer. You know what I'm saying? That's a final answer, which is option three. So for question number 11, it's option three. So our option is option three. So this option three. Option three. Thank you so much. If you have my channel, make sure you go subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And if you have any query or any request, please, you can leave a comment. I will definitely going to change your comments. And I'm very, very happy, guys, to respond to your comments. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very important for me to get the feedback from you guys so I can continue to support you, okay? If you're not writing to me, saying whatever you want me or whatever you want me to improve or whatever you want me to do for you guys means it's useless for me to keep on, uh, you know, support. The reason why I want to get the feedback from this project society from you guys who are doing whatever I'm helping you for. So it's very, very important, you know? Just like the time I'm taking out to compose all these uh, content, so I appreciate you can take your time to support each other. Thank you for your support. Peace and love. Thank you.